Active stage we have rule making, wedding, brute making. Under commercial, we have trade and aids to trade. Under trade, we have home trade and foreign trade. Under aids to trade, we have transportation, communication, tourism, banking, warehousing, advertising. And under services, we have direct and indirect. So under direct, we have housemaid, baby, family doctor. Under indirect, we have government doctors, civil servants, police. Another classification of occupations from another perspective includes primary production, secondary production, tertiary production. Production, meaning an art of making and distribution of goods and rendering of services to satisfy human wants. Thus, creation of utility. Division of production. It is divided into three main groups. Industry, commerce and services. Industry involves making of goods. Commerce refers to distribution of goods. Why service refers to rendering of services. Factors of production. There are four types of production. We have land, which is referred to as gifts of nature. We also have capital. Capital refers to as man-made productive activities. We have labor refers to productive human efforts an entrepreneur which coordinates the business activity and it is referred to as a risk bearer. Division of labor. It is the splitting or breaking up of production process into several parts and each part is performed by a person or a group of persons who are specialists or experts in that aspect of the work. Advantages of division of labor. It increases outputs. It encourages uses of machines. It raises level of efficiency. It saves time. It encourages specialization. And also, it encourages hard working, more active. Disadvantages of division of labor include monotony of work. Risk of unemployment, loss of calfmanship, risk of interruption, lack of knowledge of other aspects of production. So, and we also have limitation of division of labor, limited by market size, limited by indivisibility of factors of production, limited by capital, limited by inadequate labor force. Specialization. Specialization is the art of acquiring special skill to become an expert in one aspect of production or in, an, or in a branch of profession and continuous performance of the tasks throughout one's life or for an indefinite period, that is very long period. Why exchange is an art of giving out one thing and getting another in return. In commerce, exchange implies more or less trade by barter. So let's see the merits of exchange. Exchange enables a person or a country to gain possession of what she cannot produce. It also encourages specialization. It raises people's standard of living. It enhances cordial relationship between individuals and countries. It makes people to fully exploit their talent. Let's talk about the merits of exchange. It makes people and countries to be interdependent. It brings about lack of self-reliance and it encourages laziness. Production, division of labor, specialization and exchange. Production is the act of making and distribution of goods 
and rendering of services to satisfy human wants. It is creation of utility. Production is divided into three main groups. We have industry, commerce, and services. So a chart showing the various divisions of production. We have production. Under production, we have three stages. We have the industry, the commerce, and services. Under the industry, we have the extractive, manufacture, construction. And under commerce, we have trade and aids to trade. Under services, we have direct and indirect. Industry involves making of goods. Commerce, distribution of goods, while services involve rendering of services. Industry is a group of firms that produce identical goods. Under it, we have extraction. Here, it mainly involves in the bringing out of raw materials from the earth, sea, and forest. Examples include mining industry, which extracts minerals like crude oil, gold, coal from the earth. We also have uh, agricultural industry. These are called agro firms. They involve in cultivation and harvesting of crops, catching of fishes from the sea, and forestry and lumbering firms. And we have quarrying industry like extraction of granite, stones, sand, etc. from the earth. Manufacturing industry specializes in the conversion of the raw materials into finished products that are capable of satisfying human wants. Examples are textile industry, food industry, and beverage industry, etc. And we have construction industry, which specializes in the building of houses, construction of tarred roads, bridges, factories, oil rig, and so on and so forth. So this makes it possible for the production process to be quickly and efficiently completed. Commerce. Commerce here refers to trade and aids to trade. It embraces all the activities that are involved in the efficient and, eff and effective movement of goods from the factories to the final consumers. Service. Service is the act of serving or attending to people, animals or birds, so as to give them relief or satisfaction. There are two major types of service. We have direct and indirect. Direct services are rendered directly to the consumers and they pay for them from their pores, like babbing, teaching, etc. Why indirect services are neither rendered directly to the consumer nor he pays for them from his purse, but he greatly benefits from them, like curing animals' illness, that's the work of veterinary doctor, and caring for animals, and so on and so forth. Factors of production there are four factors of production, which are land land gifts of nature we have capital refers to as man-made productive assets and we also have labor refers to as productive human efforts and entrepreneur which bears the risk division of labor division of labor is the splitting up of production process into several parts and each party performed by a person or a group of persons who are specialists in that aspect of work. So let's talk about advantages of division of labor. First, it leads to increase in output as each worker intensifies effort to meet up with the rate at which other workers work. It saves time as workers do not move from one place to another in the process of work. Also, it increases the efficiency of workers as they are 